It was a, a troubled marriage from the very beginning. I think he resented being committed. Thought once we started a family that maybe things would be different. I think he loved our girls a lot, but for him, he modeled his idea of what a father and a husband was after his own dad, and his dad didn't do a great job. I had enough God knowledge that I knew that this was not a good idea to be marrying someone who had none of the same beliefs that I had. It was always this push and pull of trying to find places for us to connect. And then when his health changed significantly, things really deteriorated to a place where he finally decided that he would be happier if he went his own way. So that was that. In fairness, when my marriage ended, there was an incredible amount of joy and freedom. So initially, that first few years, it was just building this new life. But I also knew that there was all this stuff that I needed to deal with. It wasn't like, yay, I'm gonna take Freedom Session. I had a number of friends who were talking about it. And it just seemed like every person I met, every conversation eventually drifted to Freedom Session until I finally couldn't ignore it. I went thinking, it would all be about my marriage, and it wasn't. It was all kinds of other stuff. Week four, when you're asked to turn your will and your life over to the Lord, I thought I had done that, and that week I got um, a breast cancer diagnosis that took me on a totally other journey. So that was a, a different breakthrough of a new level of needing to trust. There's been lots of valley ups and downs and valleys, you know, through my married life. And I've always noticed that for me, it's easier to submit when something is happening that's overwhelming. So I knew that this was way too big for me. When the cancer diagnosis came, there was a huge desire there that this be a God story. That when people heard the story, they would get two things. They would see Jesus in it, and they would get a sense of hope. Because if people could see Jesus in it, then there would be a purpose and a meaning for it. People will say, you were so strong all through the treatments, and I go, uh-uh. It was God that was strong in me that carried me through. While it was amazing um, to be with a group of women who who were incredibly supportive and kind. We really bonded together as a group. If I didn't take Freedom Session, I guess my life would be um, still spinning my wheels on things from the past that have, have hurt me and held me back. There will always be issues. There will always be areas of struggle or woundedness that are going to emerge that are gonna to have to be dealt with, but I've got the tools to deal with them now. You know, I understand that I, I serve a God who wants us to be whole and to be healed so that we can be used by Him. I'm looking forward to this year being a facilitator, but also doing my own work as well to see what God's going to bring out this year. For right now, I am cancer free, and I'm very grateful about that and I'm um, looking forward to just reclaiming my life and going back to school, back to teaching, and let's see what God's got next.